Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a good Thursday. Well, go get yourself a cup of coffee. Get comfortable because it's going to be a hot moment. I got the big order from Everyday E-Crafts. I wish I could reiterate how huge and ginormous this bag is. Plus we have the other one that was sent separately for some reason or another whoops sorry see we're already screwing up i was so excited i couldn't even sleep hardly last night and i really didn't want to make a video because you know you get to that edge you know where you're just too tired you just can't function but on the other hand you're so excited to open something you really really can't can't wait yeah that was me so, needless to say, I didn't get too much sleep. So, I even made a list. So, don't look at the ones on top, but, yeah, there, there is a list of everything. So, and I'll check it off probably later because, you know, I have to show you all the things. So, hopefully this goes well. So let's get to it. Are you ready? You got your coffee? Are, are you comfortable? Okay. Just make sure you're sitting down. So we'll just peel right into this. It took, uh, I, I think I ordered this on the 23rd or so. I'm trying not to cut anything. These are really sharp scissors, you know. If These are really good. They're Fiskers. I got them at Walmart. They were probably five bucks for the thing. You know, we're talking eight or nine years ago. Yep, we still have them. So, yeah, there's a few things in this bag. Well, we're going to open the little one to get it out of there. And then we'll oops, we'll put it on the bottom so we don't have to wrestle with this big old plastic bag. You know, could they not have put this in a box? I mean, come on, people. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay. Now, some of these, I realize they're going to have... Oh, that one was all crunched up. Sorry. They're going to have crunchy... Crunchy bags. And... Yeah, so we'll just, yeah, I'm going to move half of these, and we'll go from there, yeah, I think about 16 kits, um, not sure. I can't remember now. I took a picture of it. Yeah. Okay. So this first one that I got is Skating Santa Claus by Joy Sunday. And it has a lot of back stitching in it. It is a 14 count. Skating Santa Claus. And it, now I can't read my writing. Isn't that special? Yeah. But I'm sure that this was one that I bought. Remember, I told you we're going to do Jolly July. And I'll probably be giving two Christmas patterns away a week for this. So, yeah. And we'll be trying to work on the ornaments. And a few other Christmas projects that I have. So I just thought he was kind of cute. And he's not very big. Oh, and boating will be involved. So try to stick with me till the end. So, and we'll go over that. But, yeah. Now you can see the picture a lot better. And it looks like a partial. You don't have to stitch the back ground behind all that stuff you just stitch the little leaves 
and a little bit of shading around the Santa Claus. And it has, now this is a different card. It comes with two needles, of course. It's kind of a different card. I've never seen that. It has the colors and the numbers. And it tells you how much. I'm assuming this number up here is how much, like there's two strands or there's a half a strand. I'm not real sure. Never saw it packaged like this. What can I say? So it's kind of different. But there's, see, there's not a whole lot of thread. But there's 21 colors. Let me just wind it up a little bit. Just so it doesn't get where it doesn't need to be has a nice clear canvas so it has full stitches French knots half stitch and back stitch but isn't that cute it's real small and skinny I wanted some smaller things something that would be uh, you would be able to accomplish before Christmas does that make sense? I mean, in my mind, I, you might be able... If you just stuck with this, I can't just stick with something. But it's long and skinny. So that is that one. And I'm just going to lay these down here. And I'll put them back in the bags. Okay. So we got that one. The next one here I wanted to open this up and see them all as they came out of the thing. Um, only, you know, that way I would be surprised right along with you. How's that? Okay, this one is called Christmas Pandas. Aren't they cute? They're just skating along. They're so cute. And it is 20 by 15, so it's even smaller than the Santa one. Trying to get it out nicely. And it has a nice booklet-ish. It's all on one page. It's 86 by 58, and it has nine colors. So it has backstitch. French knots and full stitch. And it is a joy Sunday. But he's so cute. So I don't know how much stitching there's gonna be. It has the original thing. Look at all the thread. There's there's hardly any thread because it's so small. It got stuck it. There we go. Nine colors, two needles, and are you ready? Here's the canvas. Isn't it cute? It's just preciously small. And so you don't stitch the background. You could if you wanted, if you know, you were really, really into it. But I just thought they were cute. Just teeny tiny. And did I tell you it was an 11 count? Yeah. No, it's a 14 count. It's a 14 count. So I'll wrap that all up. But it does have a nice big clear key. You know, so you can see the symbols. It's huge. Yeah. And even the, the page is cool. You know, you can see it and what colors and know what colors to use for your back stitching and everything. So, yeah, thought that was pretty neat. All right, hey, enough. So, that's going with Jolly July. This next one is 11 count. Got to turn it around. 
Oh, here's the thing. 50 by 75. 50 by 75. 50 by 75. Hang on. I got it. I'm marking as I'm going. Is that all right? Isn't that pretty? It is sixty by eighty-five. I think it's an eleven. It says eleven count. So whatever the bigger one is, so it's sixty by eighty-five. They'll be crinkling. Pull that out. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all those purples. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. It's kind of a terrible picture compared to the some that we've had before. This one isn't as pixelated, but it's real teeny tiny. It has a nice big it's very small print. I don't know that you can see that, but very small. But I usually don't have to refer to this, you know, because I can usually see everything. There's going to be a lot of confetti in this. Out, out of there. What do we got here? Oh, you also could. Hey! Comes with instructions on how to sew, what to do with it, how to move along, and when you're done, it shows you what to do and how to iron it. There are two needles right here. Look at those colors, guys. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This is definitely 11 count. Has a great big wad of color here. Looking, number 18 is... Number 18 is 939. I thought it looked familiar. So it has a great big part of that. Look at all those greens and blues. Look at the purples. <sighs> I take your breath away. And then we have more blues and turquoises. Yeah. And a little bit of brown. So 32 colors on that. Oh, and there's a big hank of number 12 which is 820 Isn't that beautiful it's just all by itself yeah okay let me roll this up put that together so that i can get to the canvas canvas is nice and clear and so are the symbols that go across the bottom goes all the way across the bottom which is very nice just beautiful and there the symbols are really clear on the uh, the thing but it's kind of, it's about as big as the autumn one i would say it's 258 by 173 but there are some big big areas of the blue i mean Areas of color is what I meant to say. I'm so sorry. But it's all marked very nicely so you can see it. So I'd be interested to see what the detail is going to be like. But yeah. So it's probably... Hang on. Uh, let's see here. Move, 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 move. 23 across. I mean the actual pattern is what I'm measuring. 23 by uh, 15 and 3 quarters and a little smidge. Yeah, so yeah, it, it's a big girl. Not huge, not gigantous, but you know, but very easy to read. I'll try to bring it up. Read all the clear symbols. Yeah, it's going to be gorgeous. Going to be gorgeous. There will be voting in the end. So, 
yeah. Let me put this. It's not a Joy Sunday. I don't know what this company is. They have a great picture, usually. This one I'm not real thrilled about, because you know there's been better pictures. So, we're going to put that there. That right in there, so we don't get lost. And then I'll just pick the whole thing up and set it in a pile over there. Okay. What do we got next? Now, I love this one. It was so cute. It is 48 by 18. 48 by 18. And I called them the Christmas birds, but they're Christmas owls. It's a good thing I wrote this down and what the centimeters were because, yeah. It's a joy Sunday. Aren't they cute? I just love owls. It's a 14 count, 48 by 18. Let's see what it looks like. And this is going to be one of the Jolly July giveaways. So I got these things ahead of time, which, you know, the disorganized me never does. But we finally got it together ahead of time. So I'm not waiting. It has a great big huge pattern. I mean, the pattern is very easy to read. So it's on two pages. Cute. Has a nice big key. And it only has full stitch and a little bit of back stitch. So I don't know, maybe around the, the snowman and the little, you know, to make it look like fur on their little snow hats and the stuff for hanging the ornaments but I just thought they were precious I just loved it Let's see if we can get this out it has 19 colors comes with two needles because that's what Joy Sunday does there's the colors and then it has some more over here yeah let's look at the um, the canvas I gotta roll that up that goes with that and it's kind of a long and skinny one the key is along the bottom and it's really easy to see yeah and the printing is really well but aren't they cute? It is, the pattern is, if I could just get it to lay there. Uh, it's like 15 and a half by five and a quarter. But I just thought they were just awesome. Just awesome. So, again, another small one that is, if you weren't me, you could just stitch it and have it done by Christmas. Yeah. Okay, speeding right along. We'll put that in the Christmas pile. Next up. is bird of season yeah they don't know that the letter exists I don't think in China I'm not sure because they're always saying a bird and it's a picture of four birds I don't get it so this one is 71 by 29 God I've already lost my pen Seriously, I'm telling you, I'm the most, are you kidding me? 
not going well. Okay. Oh, here it is. Okay. And it is a 14 count. It has some back stitching in it. I'm going to take it out of here. Don't tell you how much I love Joy Sunday. Just absolutely love Joy Sunday and the way they put their kids together. I'm looking to see. I guess it's all on one canvas. I don't know. But it has a nice booklet. Shows all the, the nice back stitching. That has 32 colors. Full stitch, French knot, and back stitch. 345 by 122. So it has it all broke down here. But I just thought those birds were gorgeous with the berries or the fruit or a flower. And I have no idea. If you know what all those birds are, kudos, because I haven't got a clue. Yeah, I just think they look, look beautiful. Just beautiful. This is a nice thick booklet because the the graft is bigger. I would say it's an eighth inch square or more. I mean, it's just, it's huge, but nice instructions. And again, a different kind of a thing comes with two more needles or two needles and everything is stretched out so I've never seen this type of thing it usually looks like this with maybe the numbers you know one two three whatever I don't know I've never seen it so like 31 is blue so it has blue there it tells you what the equivalent is in uh, DMC yeah so there are the colors aren't they pretty kind of autumn-y I don't know it's not specifically autumn but you know but there's some nice blues and oranges and peaches and reds hmm. just loved it loved it loved it loved it okay let's look at the the canvas I'm curious it, it says 345 by 122 high you don't stitch the background you just stitch now you could if you wanted to stitch it all and then cut these into individual pictures if you wanted or if you want the whole length it is the pattern is 20 oh gosh it's really close to 25 inches across by eight and three quarters high but yeah, just lovely. And it's nice and clear and concise. And long and skinny. I just thought it was beautiful. So I don't know what I'll do. You know, I mean, as far as that goes. I don't know. I don't know. You know. Let's just get it stitched first. I think that would be the easiest, and then you wouldn't have to worry about fraying while you're trying to hold it. But, yeah, I just thought it was gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And I like the fact that the, uh, the pattern is so big, it shows you where the, oops, sorry, where the, um, back stitch is supposed to be, so you don't have to worry about 
while I'm stitching over that, you know, it's going to cover it up. You can see it real clear here in this for sure. So, yeah. All right, moving along. That nap pile. Next up is flower basket. And it is 32 by 32. Whoops. It said flower basket with red poppy. They had like three, maybe four that were like some kind of a basket or this kind of a setting. So, yeah. Once again, Joy Sunday. I've never seen this pattern before either. Come out of there. I think just I'm not a fan of the, the Ziploc bag thing. Okay. Well, it's nice and pretty. Not very big. It's 135 by 135. And I've got to get the page. Sorry. Covered everything up. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? It would have been prettier, I think, if they'd used the red poppy, but, you know, just kind of partial to red poppies. I, I know it has nothing to do with opium and all that. No. I just like the way they look. Just beautiful. But it has a nice thing. Here's your key here. Good picture. And it's most, for the most part, like this and then this bottom section. So you really wouldn't need to. Nope, there's no. You know how they divide it out? I'm telling you. So let's put that aside. Get to the colors. Woohoo! That's the bestest part. Okay. So it comes with two needles. And the old style it has 37 colors. I'm trying to get them to separate. But you have like a, I think that's a good burgundy, dark burgundy. And reds. And then on this side, we've got the golds. There's like a pale lavender, maybe. But you have peaches and golds and oranges. Isn't that beautiful? Just lots of beautiful, beautiful colors. Okay, let's wind that up. And since it's 14 count, it's not very big. You don't do the background on this. I'm trying to get it to lay down here. So the actual picture, whoops, let's just knock everything off, is, oh, about nine and a half, maybe a smidge over, by... Um, nine and a smidge over. Nine and a half smidge over. But yeah, it's very nice and clear. I'm trying to wind up my thing so it doesn't take up so much room. It has a nice, clear um, key. Runs along three sides. So where you see these slash marks, that's your back stitch. Then you come around, and this is all your full stitch. So it just has a little bit of back stitch up here in the knitting needles, and maybe some of the grasses that that stick out. I don't know if it'll even show up, but you can see where the lines are on the wheat, if you will. Just beautiful. Just, just beautiful. Yeah. So that'll be fun to stitch. So we'll put that 
than that. And we'll put that down there. Okay, the next one we have is 48 by 48. And there'll be crinkling. I do have to find out how to get in here. Crinkle. Sorry. Oh, goodness gracious. Sucker was down there. I'm going to pull it all out at once so it doesn't. And we're just going to lay that over there. Now, see, to me, that's a better picture. It's not as impressive as the Golden Phoenix, though. I'm telling you. But, kind of like that. So it has a little bridge and a little pagoda, maybe. I don't know if those are cherry blossoms and peonies or what they are. But they were just really pretty. It has one of those plastic things. It's all on one page. 22 colors. Symbols are really clear over here. And it has an instruction sheet. And this one, you do. This is full coverage. If I could just get the silly color stuff. Now, see, they're very long. I'm just, I'm still going. Yeah, it's like a yard and a half. I mean, it's a good yard long threads, but they're real easy to get off of there then. And it comes with a hank of this yellow, which is 3822. It actually says it right there, which is nice. But it has some really beautiful colors, 22 colors. Lots of purples, pinks, oranges, some turquoise. So, yeah. Comes on one of these nice cards. Okay, now i got to get rid of it here. I'm trying to get everything together so we don't lose anything. Let's look at the canvas. There are two needles there. If I got it, I got it upside down. My bad, my bad. Nice and clear and concise. This is an 11 count. And it's one of those, do you see how the, the bottom flowers come out of the frame and the side flowers just a bit? So, yeah, I like that. So we'll see. But it seems to have some big, excuse me, um, areas, you know. So it's not terribly detailed. We'll see. We'll see. But it's a nice size. Now the pattern. <coughs> Excuse me. I did way too much talking yesterday. Now I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. Maybe. Maybe. Oh my goodness. We had a lot, of, a little bit of wind yesterday, and we're still getting smoke from the fires in Arizona and New Mexico and wherever else it is. We seem to get it. So, the actual pattern is, about, we'll call it 14 and a half by uh, maybe 13 and three quarters. So, it's not too terribly big. But it has a nice, clear key. Why can't I remember that word today? Here on the side. So, yeah. This is has a lot of area stitching. So it's pretty solid. So, I don't know how well that's going to turn out. Not a clue. You know, not seeing it. I mean, it looks like these flowers are detailed, and you got a little detail in the middle of each of the other flowers. But the butterfly, he, he kind of got left out of the whole group, both of them. So, yeah, I guess it is what it is. So, 
we'll see. So let me put all that together. Put that over there. And this one is, hmm, hopefully there's a picture in there. I'm looking to see if it says on this little sticker. I think it's, is it Villa? No, that's not what that is. Okay, we're crinkling for a hot moment. Gravy. How do you get into this? Ah, must be up here. Now, this is another one with a terrible picture. But, you know, for a terrible picture, the, the kids seem to be great, you know? It's like they need to get their, their group together and take better pictures. Oh this. Well, and it looks like it's been through the war. It got all crinkled up. It has two needles there. Let's see. Oh, I was going to say, where's the instruction? And it's got this super small little thing that You'd have to take to a library and, you know, blow it up. This one is 50 by 40. Hmm. Oh, this is called Seaside Cabin. But it is so small, you can't tell. It does have 23 colors. Look at the threads. Of course, they're 100 feet long. Whoops. Again. My bad. My bad. But there's the colors for it. Really pretty. And so you can see the light colors. There we go. Really pretty. Love the colors. And like I said, 23 And I've never heard of that company. Hone Idea. Classic Art Treasures. So. We'll see. We'll see. What did I say this was? 50 by 40. 50 by 40. Seaside. Seaside. Okay, so this is one that I'll be giving away. I'm, I'm trying to look. Where, oh, God, let's not touch that wrinkly thing. Now it has the picture up in here in the thing. I think they think they're making diamond paintings. But, yeah. So you can almost make out the house, but... trying to refer to the picture and think at the same time it's not happening but there's a bunch of flowers right along here and you got boats out here on the the thing there's some birds flying and they have some back stitching in it so I mean unless that's the way that looks I'm not even seeing the bird I don't know if you freehand that or not but yeah I mean, the, the symbols are clear, and it looks like a, I think it's an 11 count, pretty much. It's 173 by 129, which makes the picture, fifteen and a half by 11 and 3 quarters. Inches, inches, inches. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what that is. 
Seems like there's a lot of that pink color. It's 939. Of course it is. Something dark. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's put this, that, put that with that. Get the crinkly bag. And just make it a pile here. And that'll be one that I'll be giving away. I gotta see where I'm at. Hang on, guys. Okay. I'm gonna have to stop right here. I will be back. And I have to download all that. And then we'll go again. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. I had to put everything back in their little bags as we're going here. Okay, so the next one, get the picture, is a lighthouse at night, and it just gives a number. I'm looking to see, it might say on the canvas, but yeah, I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. It doesn't say how big it is. It has 18 colors. Gives you a nice little thing. It's separate. So you don't, and the chart is not very big at all. So, yeah. And it is, I think it's an 11 count. I'm kind of guessing at this point. Let me set that aside. It had a crinkly bag, so I opened it up before I started video videoing. And of course it has a nice big long whoops thing of threads. They're a foot long, or a yard long. Everything is falling here. We've got eight more to go guys. Yeah. So these are the colors. Eighteen colors. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Some nice blues and pinks and whites. Comes with two needles down here at the bottom. And it has this so you can kind of keep it with you if you need to. But the the key is quite big. Yeah. I don't know. The more I look at it, the more I'm wanting to say 11 count. So I don't know how much. Um, there's only... Uh, cross stitch in it. There's no back stitch. Where did I lay it? And it doesn't say anything on here how big it is. Hmm. Oh, nothing. No. It does have a little instruction page that came with it on how to stitch and blah blah blah. Y'all know that. It's kind of like when you open up diamond painting and you get a little green boat. Yeah. These are in everything that I ever got. Yeah. So, yeah. It is... Um, really close to being 10 across. So, maybe 9 and 3 quarter by 13 and the whole... Hey! Enough. I may have to measure the whole thing. So 15 and a half is 39.5 by 11 and three quarters. So 30. So what did I say? Holy cow. 30 by shush. Quiet. 30 by. Thirty. Oh, I'm doing the whole thing. Thirty by. Thirty by forty. Thirty by forty. Okay. So, 30 by 40. And this is another one that I will be giving away. 
I don't know. You can't really see that picture. I know. The other one was almost better. Almost, I'd say. But yeah, I mean, everything's, the symbols are nice and clear and concise. There's a few big areas. So, yeah. Let's get that together here. And then I'll show you that picture. So there's the picture. It's pixelated, so if you look at it from a distance, it looks better. Does that make sense? Because it's like a picture of the cross stitch. But yeah, I thought it was beautiful. I love all the pinks. Flowers highlighted by the moon. and Yeah. Love it. So put that all together. Put that all together. And we'll put that over there. Is there... No, I was looking to see if there was maybe 30 by 40 on here. Okay, we're going to make a pile. <coughs> now this next one, let's get the better one. I bought two of. Crinkling again. I despise these plastic baggies. Just absolutely despise them. And this one's a nicer little kit. Like I said, comes in a crappy bag. With a horrible picture, but the kits are awesome. It's like they spent the most money on that. We're just going to lay that, like, somewhere else. This comes with a kit with the little thimble and four, five needles in here. Sometimes there's extra needles other places. A seam ripper. A little bobbin and a needle threader. Those things are invaluable. Love them. And a little poop ball to put your, your needle in. I'm assuming. Not a clue. I don't know what the poop ball's for. Anybody knows what the poop ball's for? Let me know. Alright. So, you'd probably like to see the picture, huh? Like I said, crappy picture. But it was gorgeous on the side. Trust me. It doesn't even do it justice. It's a bird feeder with all different colored birds on it. You have cardinals and oreos and bluebirds and blue jays and others I don't know. But, yeah. And it has a key. And it's really skinny. It's an 11 count as well. But, yeah. It's 30 by 40. I bought two of these, so one of them is going to go to one of you guys. Let's take a look at the... I don't know why they did this. The colors. The gravy. It'll be a hot second. Do you need to get refill on coffee? Yeah. I told you it would be a long one. Get it out of the bag. Oh my gosh. I hate them bags. So you got a big hank of off-white and that is going to be that background. I'm sure of it. It's 3033. It is. No? Maybe that's the bird feeder. 27. What is number 27? It's 3033. Well, okay. Yeah, so that's all this light colored background. So it's a full coverage, and it's not very big. You have another, what is going on here? Well, don't know what's going on. It's all wrapped around itself. Hang in there. The threads are 100 miles long as usual. I really like that because it's easier to grab a thread. So I'm not complaining about that at all. There are the colors for all the birds. Oh, bright red. Looks like 666. Nope, it's 413. We'll turn that around. And this is more of this right here. But yeah, it has some really beautiful, beautiful colors. It has 34 colors. Did I say that? Am I repeating myself? Okay, we're going to wrap this up. 
put that with that and just set it carefully aside. There's the pattern. It is, kiss. The pattern is 13 and a half. 13 and a half by nine and a quarter. But yeah, I just thought it was pretty. I mean, the picture is gorgeous. Go to Everyday Crafts and look up birds, man. It'll probably be there. It's 104 by, by 148. Hmm. Okay, yeah. 104. So that doesn't even seem possible. How is that possible? I want 48. So it has to be an 11 count, just by by that alone. But it has a great big sheet. And it's not as small as some. And it's really clear and easy to read, even though it is on a smaller thing. It just is not gridded. Does that make sense? You could kind of see where it's at, but you can read the symbols. I'll pull that up. So they're nice and clear on the canvas. And they're nice and clear on this key. There's a little picture. It You can't tell what it is. Sorry. But yeah, I mean, it, it comes with all your little tools. I like that they send a little tool kit. It's always fascinating to see how companies put things together, you know. Amazing. So, we are going to grab the bag. It's going to go right there. And I will keep the one that's wrinkled. But, yeah. So, we don't need to open that. It looks just like the last one. Okay, and the next one is Christmas Penguins by Joy Sunday. It's a 14 count, 25 by 18. It's another little, small little picture. It says, Happy Holidays. Aren't they cute? I just love them little penguins. They're so awesome. Yeah, it comes with full page, great big huge symbol thing. It has full stitch, ah, full stitch, French knot, and back stitch. And as you know, nobody's going to know this but you, okay? For French knots, if you've got extra seed beads, use them. That's all I got to say. You, you don't, and you're not capable of making French knots. It took me forever to learn how to make a French knot. And, you know, I'd, wind, I'd either wind it way too many around the needle, and then I'd go to shove the needle back down and try to get it off. It'd be so tight you couldn't move it. Or it'd pull the whole knot right through the, the canvas. Yeah, it took me forever. So, if you don't want to do that, use seed beads. I'm just saying. For a friend. But, yeah. And it comes with, here's all the thread. You can tell how big it is. There's the thread. And it's got 10 colors, two needles, and it does say 14 count right here on the thing. Beautiful. I'd have to go get another one. But they're so cute. See, it's itty bitty. Just itty bitty. I love it. But, you know, it'd take me a month and a half to get through that, even if I stitched on it every day. But, yeah, that's I have to keep moving. I have to do things. So the actual picture is seven, seven by about almost five and two eighths. Is there such a thing? <laughs> not a clue. What can I say? It's not very big. So five by seven ish. So if you wanted to put it in an eight by 10, eight by 10 thing frame, or if you want to just make a little pillow out of it. I just think it's cute. That and the the Christmas Santa would or the skating Santa. And what's the other one? Oh dear. 
what were they? Can't remember. But, you know, they're nice and little. They're snack sizes. They're great. And you should have them done by Christmas. You know, if you start them in July. So that's another one of those giveaways. And next, now I told you there was several flower baskets. So, this is another one. It's a Joy Sunday. It's a 14 count, and it says flower basket with lily. Flower basket. Lily. Huh. Okay. I'm losing it. Yeah. But isn't that gorgeous? Look at those scissors. Just look at those scissors. And it has a little back stitching in it. 32-32. It's the same size as the poppy. That's what I was looking at. I get an extra one? I don't know. I'm losing my mind. I don't know. Okay. Comes with a nice pattern. I mean, key. Back stitches, full stitches. It has 18 colors. It's not very big either. It's 14 count. Yeah. And it comes with two needles has 38 colors. Whoa. 38 colors in that one small little thing. So, yeah. There's those. If I can get a hold of them. I'm trying to keep them apart so they don't lay on top of each other. they got purples and yellows and oranges and bright blues. And there, this side, it's more of the purples and blues and browns and greens. Yeah, just lovely. Just lovely. Well, I don't know why I can't find this. Huh. Yeah, it was a hot day that I took this all together. Huh. I have no idea. None. Because it's not on my list. I don't know. Let's look at the canvas. The key runs along here, real nice. Starts on this edge. There's your back stitches with long stitch or long lines. And then it goes into your symbols. Real nice and easy to see. Yeah, beautiful and real easy to read. Uh, you don't do the background. You just do the, where it's printed in a color or with a uh, symbol. And I'm going to pull that up so you can see. But I thought it was gorgeous. Just gorgeous. don't know. And it has everything with it. And I like how Joy Sunday, they didn't make an extra page. They just printed all the instructions on what you should do, how to stitch, how to separate your threads, and how to do all that. You know, it's your standard. Giving you everything there. Don't know. I don't know. All right, next. This is another one that's going to be given away in um, July. It's called Christmas Cat and Dog by Joy Sunday, and it is a 14 count. It is 25 by 25. 
Isn't that the most precious thing you ever saw? I just loved it. Yeah. It's got a little back stitching in it. And it's a, we'll call it a partial. You just stitch the center part. I'm thinking, yeah. Now that I'm looking at it head on. Comes with two needles. It's on one of these. You know, this makes this convenient when you go to put these threads away if you have any extras. Because you know uh, what color goes where. And what it, I'm, no, it's not what I meant. What color it actually is in DMC. So yeah, I'm liking that. But I've never seen that before. Man, I've gotten several kits. So maybe this is a new thing. But yeah, isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. It's like they're asleep in a, a Christmas hat. Did you see that? See, here's the, the back part of the hat, and there's a little pom-pom ball. And the dog is inside of the hat. Isn't that cute? Just love it. So it's not very big. Try to get it straight. It has French knots, back stitch, and then these are your your regular colors. And it's a 14 count, so that's why this canvas is so small. And 26 colors, and it's not very big. The whole pattern itself is about a seven and a quarter by seven. So it's a little longer by a quarter inch. I don't know what that is. Just a piece of thread. But isn't that cute? And it's very easy to read. So yeah. I'm going to hardly wait to start Christmas in July. We'll see how that goes. You know. Never can tell. Let's put that over there. Okay, that's the dog. Dog, dog, dog. Christmas dog. We got the penguins. Okay. I'm telling you. Okay, 21 by 30. I thought this was another cute one. Twenty-one by thirty, fourteen count, and it's called Christmas Story. And it's a little girl sitting on Santa's lap, sound asleep, while he's trying to read her a story. As you can see, it's got some back back stitching. And it's got two needles. It has thirty-four colors. Trying, trying. They staple this together and then they make it difficult. So here's the first batch of colors. Isn't that pretty? And it is pretty much a full coverage. I don't know about Santa's hat. We'll have to see that part. Yeah, just beautiful colors. Just gorgeous. Nice, soft. All these threads have been nice and soft, so I haven't had a problem with that. You know, for a crappy picture, I mean, like, preview picture, if you will, like this, those other kits, they're just awesome. And this one isn't very big, but it does have 30... 33 colors. I couldn't see it sideways. So it says full stitch here. You can see the nice clear key and all the different symbols nicely. Turn it around. You can see more nice symbols. And here's your back stitch lines. So this picture it looks, eh, it's a little bit bigger than 8 by 10. The actual is, well, no, not really. Almost 9 and a quarter. By six and six and a half. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see. 
and you do stitch in his hat. I thought maybe it wasn't. So this is an actual full coverage. So isn't it precious? It looks like my granddaughter because she had red hair when she was littler. Really tiny like, I don't know, from birth to, because her daddy has red hair. Um, now it's going to like a, a blonde red, just a tad red reddish blonde so it wasn't fire red you know hair but yeah so there's your your key and symbol and it's all on one page nice it's a little small but you can still see what it is it's the first time I ever saw anything that small from what do you call it joy Sunday but I guess since it's such a, a small picture they just made it concise. Okay. 36. Okay, this one is another giveaway. And I call it Town. It's 36 by 46. Crinkling involved. Good Lord. Oh, out of the bag. Out of the bag. Go away, bag. Bag's just throwing me crazy. It's not too bad of a picture. It is a picture of the actual stitching. But it's a little town scene, like someplace on the Mediterranean. So you got a little bit of water, you got mountains, you got sky. Yeah, gorgeous. Comes with plastic sheeted pattern. All the nice clear symbols here. This isn't really hard to read. At least it's gridded. The other one wasn't. But you could tell where everything was going to be. So, yep, another 100 feet of thread. It has 28 colors. I'm trying to get one set out. So you got lots of reds. Got a little black. Some turquoises and pinks. We turn it around if it doesn't get stuck on everything. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Let go. Then you got some grays and whites, and look at those turquoises. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Good colors. Love them. And this is the canvas. Doesn't say. Oh, it did. No, maybe not. It looks like it's 174 by 120, maybe 130. It's a 36 by 46, so there's not much edge here. <coughs> Excuse me. Has a picture up here. Comes with two needles. Just gorgeous. So, it'll be interesting. It's an 11 count. Yeah, and the symbols are right, really nice and clean. It looks like it's got some big stitching area. So it'll be interesting to see what that all looks like. I don't know. 28 colors. So yeah, it, it's fair size. Put that in there. 36 by 46. So 46 is... 46 is about 18 inches and 18 by 14 by 18 so yeah cool let's put that in there so we don't lose that and the beat look at that picture mm. that what got me was this right here all that blue and it contrasts with all this stuff coming up Sorry, got stuck on the details. What can I say? Get rid of that crinkly bag. And last but not least is and I think we got everything. Hang on. It's a good thing I made a list because and then I couldn't find the list. Oh my goodness. It was sad. 
I'm telling you. Okay, so this one is 46 by 36. And it looks like it's Russian. I don't think that's Chinese. I don't know. One can never tell. Okay, now we got to figure out how to open the crappy bag. Man. Try to be as fast as possible. This is the last one. Okay. Let me get rid of that bag. Holy cow. Turn that over. Ah. There is the picture. Let me turn it so you can actually see it. Hopefully and it's not. I can't tell. But isn't that gorgeous? Look at the rocks and the, the sky. I, like I said, fall in love with the picture before anything else. Yeah. Has a nice big key. It's got 47 colors. Holy cow. Holy cow. But it just has one of these plastic gridded things. It's not the best and in the world. So. Yep. And I don't know. Looking. Looking, looking. I should write down whether it's 11 count or whatever when I order it. But, you know, I'm not that organized. Come on. Please, this is me. Um, I'm saying it's a 14 count. So, yeah. Let's look at the colors. They're all tied up. Okay, 47 colors. You got white and tan. Then you have all these. Isn't that beautiful? We'll lay that down so I don't have to hang on to it. Then the rest of them. Maybe. Blues, greens, tans, pale blues. And then on this side, we have blacks, dark blues, purples, grays, dark blue, yellow, up there. I don't know. It must go in the sky somewhere. Yeah. I thought it was just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Loved the colors. But yeah, it's a 14 count. I see this now. So that means it'll be close. Looks like there's a little confetti here in this water. But hey, it is what it is. With 47 colors. Oh, did I say two needles? Yeah. Okay. Let's look at this. But it looks pretty clear. I don't know if I maybe take it down a little bit. But it has nice, clear, easy to read. Since it's 14 count, it's a little bit smaller. But you get the picture. You get it. You get it. So, yeah. And it's, let's say, 46 by 36. So I didn't buy real huge ones this time. I don't know. I must have been sick that day, right? So this is even smaller than than the autumn one. The autumn or that spring house. So Or spring. Yeah. So it's 15 and a quarter by uh, pretty much 12 inches. We'll give it so. It's not too bad. But, you know, when you get to see the, the symbols really well. But I'm afraid if I go up, you might not be able to see them. All right, guys. Well, that's everything that I got. Put that on the back. Okay. Yeah. So, look for the other ones. I'm going to be giving those. Oh, whoops. Sorry. My bad. All the Christmas ones I'm giving away in July. So, I'll be doing, I think, two giveaways a week. 
so that'll be good but now I had some in there that were for me so I will tell you I don't know if I got an extra one or if I actually decided at the end You know, to I'm looking. My notes leave something to be desired. So where I was going with all this was that I'm going to show you the ones I got for me. And I want you to vote on which one I should start first. So, since it's right here. We have the lighthouse. I'll try to get them all together because I don't want to separate them. Let me just lay them all down here. Crinkly bags and all. I'm trying. So, okay, we're just going to move this because it's in my repertoire way. So, we have the bridge. We have red poppy. We have the purple landscape. We have bird of season. We have the birds with the house. We have the lighthouse or the lily. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I will put those listed in the description and with the number right beside it. So just tell me which one you would like me to start first. And I'll take all the votes today. And tomorrow we'll start whatever one. Okay? I know this has been a long video. Thank you for hanging in with me. And I appreciate your vote. So, hang in there, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And we will see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.